Well, hi ho, Stampers, Develda here. Welcome back to my studio, and I always love having you back for some craftiness. And today it is this absolutely adorable little card. It's a wobble card, so he does move. Or they should say they do move. It's on the rough seas. R U F F rough seas. Get it? Um, so I want to show you how to do this card, but it just brings a joy um, doing something like this when you're all done and you can just see it. It's it's just good. And um, you know, being separated from everybody during this um, pandemic, um, can't you just wait until you can get back together? You know, and hop in the boat together. It's just it's just a time when you just want to have some fun, and this card will do it. It's so adorable. So let's get started. It is a wobble card. We do have two different size wobbles in the shop, the large ones and the small ones. And it just depends on what size little image. You only want one. So for this one, I probably will use the little one. Um, but there are things that you need the big one for too. So you decide and um, the wobbles are the best. All right. They just, like I said, they just bring joy to um, your, your piece. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to take and um, start with the uh, little set of clouds. Now we've done clouds in the past couple of um, cards that we've done, but I'm going to do them again. I'm going to show you how to do them. So I'm going to use my um, Make Art Station because if I get it off onto um, the table, I'm getting it off here and it cleans up very easy. I'm going to use our Distressed Oxide ink because um, this is water soluble, it is water reactive, and it just looks beautiful. I'm also going to use um, our cloud set and um, I have already taken my cloud and made up some stencils, but you can actually use these for real clouds too. I'm going to take and use them as a stencil for today. Now what I did was I put some of our adhesive, our removable adhesive on the back and that's very important because you're going to take and move it from side to side. So all I did was I took the cartridge here, I took it out, well I can actually show you how to do it, okay? It's this easy, you take one out and you don't have to wait until the end, that's what I love about this. I start on the bottom one, I line up these two little guys right there and now what I'm going to do is to just put some removable little dots on here. And the cool thing about that, I've got to change them back out again because I've got to use this um, for the, the piece. All right, so I'm just going to take this one out. I'm going to put this one back in. Boom, we're done. All right, so I've got my removable uh, tape or dots on the back of this. And now what I'm going to do is just burnish. So watch me and enjoy, and it's just so much fun. The Distressed Oxide, I'm using Stormy Sky. They're in our shop along with the brushes, and you can make your sky as light or as dark as you want. What you're gonna do is just burnish the color in, and it, even though it doesn't look like there's a lot there, there really is, all right? So what you wanna do is to take your cloud and just move it different ways and burnish that color in, all right? See, can you see the clouds coming through now? So pretty. And you might want to think about getting the reinkers when you buy the distressed oxides because you are um, grabbing a bunch of color out of the um, ink. So just think about that. We have the we have both the reinkers and the uh, ink pads in the shop. All right. And let's go right over here. It just depends on how stormy you want your day. All right. See, look at how fun this is. And you can, like I said, you can go as light or as dark as you want. There we go. And I'm just lifting it up and going down. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. And I'm going to go almost to the bottom, but not quite because we have some water to put in there too. All right. Yep, you don't want to make sure that that uh, comes up. All right, and let's see. You don't want them exactly in the same spots because um, otherwise it's going to look funny. You just want to make sure. Oops, I got to. I should put some more um, dots on there. There we go. Put that one there. Good. All right, and let's see. I think I'll go down just a tad bit more. There we go. All right, that's not bad at all. 
All right, so we've got a couple of our little dots there. They'll just come right off. I'm going to grab my eraser, though, because my eraser takes everything off. I can just rub these off like that, but I like using my little sand eraser. It's good for everything. All right, it takes off all your mistakes. So if you go outside the lines, our little sand erasers are amazing. Okay, there we go. All righty, so we've got our clouds done. And um, when you, you get these, you don't have to have one for every color. I have one for blue, I have one for all my pinks, all my reds, um, and then I just wash them out and leave them um, brush side down and uh, you're good to go for the next time and next color. All right, so we've got all that done. Now what we wanna do is to, let's bring this back in here. Now what we wanna do is to add our water. So what I did was I took my dyes, okay, and these are the, what are they called? They're called the Grass and Cloud Edger Dyes. You know me and Edger Dyes, I love them. So let me just show you what we have here. In these dyes, all right, I'm just gonna take and show you. We have a mound of grass, we have a hill of grass, okay? And we have straight grass, okay? So that's one, that's, that's these three dyes right there. Also in that set, we have clouds that have a little scallop but, um, along with a little stitching on there but we also have plain clouds all right so if you needed to use like clouds and some grass and I do do these ahead of time so that I have a bunch of them put them on here decide whether you want it to be uh, going uphill if you want that right in the middle and then you just trim them off all right or you can cut them the exact size before you before you um, run them through the the um, die cutting machine, but um, it's just, it's easy not to have to do that. All right. So these are our clouds. That's the one without the, uh, that's the one with the, the uh, stitching and that's the one without the stitching. All right. But you can also use, oh, see, I always cut everything out. I, I just cut out so much of them. So you can have a, a dark cloud too. All right. So I always cut out a bunch of them um, and I've, I've done that ahead of time. But what I did was I took my cloud stencil, which normally you would cut it this way, okay? So you would have your, your um, straight edge right here. You would cut it this way, and that gives you this look right here, okay? So it goes cloud, 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 all right? But we're not gonna do that. We're literally gonna do it upside down, okay? Like this, let me just show you. I already cut out all three of them move that out of the way so what I did was instead of cutting it this way I took and I cut it this way all right and um, have my straight edge down here so I did that with all three of them okay they're bigger than my piece of paper because I like to cut it afterwards all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the darker one on the bottom and that's gonna get glued straight to my card this one right here is going to get popped up, but because we have so many layers, I'm going to use my thin uh, foam squares. Now, remember, we carry thin ones and we carry thick ones. You can see the difference between the two of them. Let's do the big ones because you can see it better, but you can see the difference between the two of them. These are much thicker and it's 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 visible to the eye, the, the, the naked eye, because um, they're just that much thicker. But because we have so many layers, our card would be this, oops, our card would be this thick if I did the layers um, with, the, with the thick dye. So I'm gonna use my thin, I told you, there's always a reason for everything. So I'm gonna start with my white, and what I wanna do, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I just kind of offset them. So I don't wanna do it like this, Okay, because then it's going to look like clouds if you do them straight up and down. I'm going to take it, I'm going to just off-center them just a little bit. So I'll go this way. I'll put one here. And I'll go right about here. And we still have wiggle room because it's bigger than my piece of paper there. Now these were all scrap pieces of paper. You can see that little imperfection right there. But it didn't matter to me because I am going to take and I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to take and have... Um, everything covered up. So this is going to be covered up by this one. All right. So now what I'm going to do is do the same thing. So now the layering is half the size here and half the size there, which actually equals one full foam square. Does that make sense? It's really a, it's really a cool thing. It's just absolutely amazing. All right. So this one, I think I'll go 
Let's see. I want the white to show. I want the blue to show. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, like a really stormy sea. All right. And you can even trim something if you want to. Now, remember, we're going to have our little dog on top of that. So um, some of it's going to be covered up. All right. So I want to make sure that I can see. Um, there we go. I want to make sure I can see all three colors. Okay. I think we can. All right, so that's about right to me, I think. So before we do this, we have to do our sentiment. All right, so I'm going to take, and I've already pre-mounted that into my um, little Misty here. All right, let's move that out of the way. I already did that. I already pre-did um, it in my Misty, so let's just stick it in here. Now, in this stamp set, okay, that we have, it comes as a combo in our store. So you not only get the, the uh, dog, you also get the dies to go along with it, which includes not only the, the boat of dogs, but also um, the sun to go along with it, all right? So those are the dies right here. And then here is the stamp set, and it comes with two um, stamps. So for this card, I did You've Got a Friend. For this one, I'm going to do A Friend in Need is a Friend Indeed, because right now, during all of this mess, um, we do need friends, and we need to stick together, all right? So I am going, I know exactly who I'm going to um, give this to, and it would help if I had it right side up. See, I always use my Misty the, the, the opposite way of everybody else. I always go from this way to this way from this way to this way, but um, then my, my um, ruler is upside down. So um, it's a, just a it's just a personal thing. Okay, so let's grab our Wow Ink and get it all non-sticky. And we'll just ink it up. Let's see what we got here. Beautiness. I love that. All right, let's clean this little puppy off. And go with our saying is all done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this. Now this one I'm not going to pop up again because we've got the two layers already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of my adhesive to the blue piece. Okay. And let's grab this just in case we go over. I don't want it sticking to my paper below. All right. See if I've had if I had too much of this and I stuck it on my paper, it would go. I love this little art station. All right. So now I need to make sure that this piece is down below. So I'm going to just take my scissors here. I love my scissors. Yes, they are in the store. I'm just going to trim this off just a little bit because I'm going to trim the whole thing off with my cutter. All right, but I just wanted to get a little bit. So I'm taking this and going just a little bit below here. And I'm just going to see, I'm going to lightly set it down for just a second. I'm going to grab my little guy right here and just see. Now he can't even go, if you don't want to put a wobble in, he can even go in between the waves. Isn't that so cute? All right, we're going to put him off to the side because we've got this little guy right here. So now what I have to do is I don't want to put a wobble down here. I want to put it up here. So I'm going to put it right. And people ask me this all the time, okay? Which is the right side and which is the upside down on this right here? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Let me just show you after I get off. It's easier to see once I get off the sticky stuff. All right. So on this side, it is... Um, this one right here is the flat side, and this one here has the hole in it. It doesn't matter which one you put on top and which one you put on the bottom. I don't think. I've never had trouble with either one of them. So I'm going to put it close up here. And now it's sticky on both sides. I'm going to just kind of nestle it down in through here. Making sure. Whoops. I don't have it. Yep, it's perfect. All righty. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. We want to move it just a little bit to the, otherwise they're going to look like they're tipping over. Now we're going the other way. There we go. They're very, they're, it's very forgiving until you push it down. All right. There we go. I think we're good. And he does wobble. Isn't that so cute? All right. Now what we need to do is to trim off. just our sides, all right? 
So I'm going to go over to my three and three quarters and just trim this little guy right off. Okay, we're going through three layers, but it works very well. And then we're going to do the opposite side here. And if it doesn't go through all of your layers, all you have to do is take your scissors and just finish trimming it through. Let's see if it goes through this side. Yep, there we go. Alrighty, and then if you have anything left over, just trim it off with your scissors. There we go. That was one of the uh, pop-ups. Alright, so we've got all that done. Now we're ready to finish putting it. This is a really fast card. The only thing that took me a little bit of time was the coloring. I did it with our Copic markers, but I will tell you that it was super, super fast. All right, uh, because they're small little pieces. They're just tiny little pieces. All right, now to decide if I'm going to use a blue background. So for this one, I did um, a yellow one to match the sun, but I'm wondering if I should do a blue one. I think I just might do that to match the water. What do you think? Hmm. Nah, I like the yellow. It just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. All right. So, yep. And I do cut out the middle of it with my cutter, just like that. You can use it rectangle if you want to. And I save that for scrap paper. So there's that. So let's just take and put some adhesive down on this. And we're good to go. Sit down on this one. Remember, you don't want to put any um, dimension on this layering because we've already got it on the water. Alrighty, so here's this. We're almost done, but not quite totally done. Okay, there's that. He still wobbles. You can wobble anything. Wobbling, these little wobbles you can put on just about anything. My favorite one is our little bunny butt in the in the shop. Um, it comes with a bunny, it comes with a die, it comes with the wobbles. It's a little kit and it's absolutely adorable. But now we have to put the sun on. And remember, this comes with the die, it comes with the combo. And um, it's just so cute. So I'm going to take and put um, a little foam square on the bottom of this one. Yep, I'm using one of the thin ones because... The next thing that I'm going to do, which is the last thing that you want to do, all right, is to add your um, crystal glaze, all right? So, and then you have to let it set because if you don't, and I know everybody's done this, if you take and you put something on there um, that um, it just, it, it sticks to what I'm going to tell you. So I'm just going to put it on here and set it off to the side and we will have two cards already done with this cute, adorable little set. Isn't that so cute? It looks cloudy now, but it dries really clear. And um, the cool thing about it is, is it takes on the color of what's underneath. So let me just show you on this one. I'm going to put that off to the side so I don't touch anything. But do you see how cute and adorable that is with the little uh, with the little sun? Dimension, dimension, dimension. It's all about dimension. This is a cute little friend card to make for people. It doesn't take any time. People say, oh, I don't like to color, but I want to tell you that something this small, whether you do it with your Copic markers, whether you do it with your watercolors, which is something I love, even this done with um, your watercolor pencils takes no time at all. It's this little tiny thing. Give it a try, all right? And don't forget, when you're done with your, with your card, okay, and you want to have... Um, and you want to mail them, okay, don't mail them when they're still wet like that, but when you do, what you want to do is make sure you, you decorate your envelopes. Your envelopes are so important. So you can take and you can decorate the front of it, you can decorate the back of it, you can decorate both of them. So whatever have, you know what's really cute and I think I'm going to do, I'm going to put these little heads um, right in the corner. Make sure when you're doing your envelopes you don't put anything down here because that's the post office's spot, but you can do anything right here and all the way up 
here, anything in the middle like we did right here. But this spot right here is reserved for the post office. Just remember that. Otherwise, you get one of those white strips and everything is ruined. So I hope you enjoyed our post for today. Make sure you subscribe and click on the little bell below. Hit the thumbs up button and share this with your friends. We totally appreciate you um, visiting us at the store, visiting us um, on our videos, our blog, uh, YouTube, and um, also on Instagram. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us. You take care and have a super great day today. Thank you.